Welcome back to Fletcher House and Garden. We're going to take a little break from the outdoors for this week's episode. I know several of our previous episodes have been focused on the garden because, well, it's spring here. And as many of you know, that means it's go time for gardeners. But I was out and about this weekend. I actually went out with the purpose of visiting an ornamental concrete supply a store that's nearby to purchase something for the garden and I'll show you that later but I also ended up at a flea market one of my local places that I love to go to I've talked about it before Sheffield Antique Antique Small Uh, and I found a couple of things while I was there this weekend so I thought it would be fun to share these items with you but instead of talking about how I plan to style them or you know how I plan to use them I thought we could look at them a little differently and compare what I purchased versus what they usually run for online or in other areas. So I'm calling this deals or duds, and you tell me if you enjoy. Uh, Just three things today, but if you like this content concept, we can continue it. So first up, I found the sweetest a little ginger jar. It's about six inches tall, six or seven inches tall. Has the phoenix motif, or some people call it a flying turkey, uh, on the outside here. But a beautiful bluish green color. And it even has its own lid. I just thought it was in great condition. I thought it'd be good with some of my other chinoiserie pieces. So I ended up paying for this Devar Originals ginger jar $14. And the comments I found online run about 25 so I say that is a deal. The next item, number two, I found a vintage utensil holder or cutlery caddy. I've seen these before. I actually saw one of these in a Nashville flea market about a month ago, and it was $50. I was interested but did not want to pay that much. So I was tickled to find very similar style at Sheffield and the price was different we'll get to that in a moment but I just love the intricate detail on this and just a sweet concept if I'm entertaining or even if I want to use it as a coffee like spoon rest to have this uh, to use so I ended up paying eight dollars for this cutlery caddy and the comps I found online 40 and like I said in Nashville it was 50 so either way I struck a deal third and final item I have to share with you today. It's actually a pair of items, candlesticks here, as you can see. But these reminded me of some of my Linux, like vintage Linux pieces that I have. I love all the detail to it, but especially the feet at the bottom of the candlesticks and the tassel decor or detail there in the middle. I love that. It actually ties into some of the other things we have here at the house. So if you recognize these, let me know because there were no markings on them. But for this pair, I ended up paying $37. I think it was actually like $36.95. We'll round, we'll round up to $37. And as for the comps, well, I can't find this exact pair online. So more detective work to be done. All in all, though, whether you want to consider these pieces duds or deals or who knows, uh, anything in between, I still think personally that they are deals because I am happy with the purchases. I know that no matter what I paid, as long as I was being uh, smart about the purchases, that they will look very well in our home. So what do you think? Do you like any of these items? Do you think they're deals or duds? Do you like this concept? Please let me know in the comments. I very much appreciate you joining me this week as I took a break from the garden and came inside to show you some of these flea market finds that I unexpectedly found. But like I said, this weekend I was actually focused on visiting a local ornamental concrete supply store and I have purchased my first two large, like sizable planters for the Fletcher House. They're going to flank our double gate on the driveway and they are this basket weave or lattice motif that I love. And I very much look forward to planting these with you, hopefully soon. But until next time, take care. <laughs>